G'day historians. So let's have a look at the difference between our closest relatives, the hominins and the hominids. Um, I'm going to probably overemphasize some of the uh, pronunciation in this video. This is our learning goal. Uh, we want to be able to describe the characteristics of both the hominids and the hominins. And at the end, if you could produce a summary table in your own words that outlines sort of who these groups were, or are, I suppose, and how they interrelate, that's when you'll know that you've kind of nailed it. So this is our vocabulary. If I could just get you to pause the video here, write these down, um, and you'll have them to refer back to as we move through the lesson. So first off, classification is how we divide things and put things into smaller groups in nature. It's really important. Um, it makes talking about nature and explaining nature uh, much more easily. But just remember that these uh, divisions, they are largely man-made. Like there's they're a tool for us to explain how things have happened in the past. And you see that here, right? So here we have... Um, down here we see we share a common ancestor this is how it works in biology and then our groups get smaller and smaller and smaller um, so here we have the catahines um, which is all of these old world monkeys um, new world monkeys are separate again and they tend to exist in uh, south america old world monkeys are african and then here we have the hominoids which also includes our gibbons and, and whatnot. And here we have the hominids, which are what we would call the great apes and human, um, which interesting for us includes all of our human ancestors. So hominid are the great apes and humans. Hominins is just this section here, right? And so it doesn't include any of the great apes. It doesn't include chimpanzee, which is this fellow here, Pan. Um, what it includes is all of the human lineage. So Artipithecus, Australopithecus, and so on. They're all hominins. Hominids, great apes and humans. Hominins, just the humans and our direct ancestors on that way. Because, see, we're not... A common misconception is that we've descended from chimpanzees, which we haven't. We are descended from a common ancestor as chimpanzees. So chimpanzees are only as new as we are. But we split from a common ancestor way back here, about 10, I thought it was a bit more recent than that, but somewhere between 10 and 7 million years ago. All right, hominids. Um, here we have the gorilla skull. Um, I love the gorilla skull. It's actually one of my favorites. Pantroglodytes is the chimpanzee. Um, but here are all our human friends, right? Like we've got Homo sapiens, Homo neanderthalensis, neanderthalensis, sorry, Homo erectus, Homo agaster, and so on. Um, so hominids, with a D, are a group of primates that include modern humans, right? Like that's Homo sapiens. All of our extinct ancestors and all of our closest current relatives. The word for the, ex like the opposite of extinct, so still alive, is extant. So all of our extant close relatives. So hominids are characterized by their bipedal, bipedalism. Um, so their ability to walk on two legs. It might not be the most common way, but we have the capability of it. Larger brain size in relation to their body. And we've been around for about 7 million years. Hominids include um, Australopithecus, Pan, Pongo, Gorilla, and the genus Homo. And that's all what we would call modern humans. Um, so here we see some, right? It's cool, isn't it? So here's us. That's a person from about 10,000 years ago. The chimpanzee, pantroglodytes, love it. Such a good skull. And gorilla, gorilla. I love that that's his um, scientific name. Um, and then we have the hominins. Uh, this is Turkana boy. I love Turkana boy. It's one of my favorite fossils for many, many reasons. Um, hominins include a subgroup of hominids. So ho all hominids are hominids but not all hominids are hominins. Um, so that includes modern humans and our extinct ancestors, but not our current closest relatives, chimpanzees and gorillas. Um, bipedalism, not the ability for bipedalism, but actually bipedal. Um, so we all get around on two feet. Uh, larger brain size in relation to our body size. And uh, we've been around for about 4 million years. 
So hominids include the genus Australopithecus and the genus Homo. So Australopithecus afarensis and so on, um, like Lucy, they're still hominins as well as hominids, Homo sapiens, Homo, Neanderth- no, Homo neanderthalensis, we're all hominins as well. And you see it, right? Like chimpanzees and bonobos split here, and this is where the hominins come this way, and the hominids all split, gorillas split off from us earlier. Um, so what are the great apes in general? We're a group of primates that include gorillas, chimpanzees, humans, orangutans. They're weird because they're on a totally different continent. Um, bonobos, they're like chimpanzees but cooler, much more chill. Uh, matriarchal societies, humans, that's us. Um, the great, And we tend to be characterized, characterized as great apes by having a large brain size social behavior which is complex and the use of tools all these um people sorry great apes use tools and actually like for example for scientists personhood tends to be conferred onto a lot of these animals as well when it comes to the ethics of doing using them for science that's interesting and important to know and great apes have been around for about 14 million years um and again we include the genus pan that's your bonobos and chimpanzees uh, gorilla, that's your gorillas, <laughs> pongo, that's your orangutans, and homo, and that's all the humans. All right, I hope that made a lot of sense. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below, and we'll get back to you as quick as we can. Thank you for watching. Uh, we'll get our webcam fixed soon, and we'll catch up with you next time. Bye now.